All right, in this video, we, d we are discussing section 9-4 on symmetry. Um, we'll be talking about line symmetry, which is also called reflectional symmetry. We'll be talking about rotational symmetry um, and something called point symmetry. By the end of this video, you should be able to identify if a figure has line symmetry, rotational symmetry, or point symmetry, um, or both. If a figure has rotational reflectional symmetry, you should be able to draw the lines of symmetry. And if a figure has rotational symmetry, you should be able to identify what the angle of rotation is. Okay, Here are the definitions. Um, if a figure has line symmetry, or also called reflectional symmetry, there is some line that we could draw on the figure so that it would be, um, we could rotate, sorry, reflect it across that line and get the exact same image. Okay. There could be multiple lines of symmetry as well, which we'll see in a couple, a couple of minutes. Um, rotational symmetry is if I'm able to rotate, um, rotate the object and get the exact same object by rotating it. Okay. It would have rotational symmetry. Um, if the figure has 180 degree rotational symmetry, it also has point symmetry. Um, and that's because each, um, if you draw a segment between the um, a point and its 180 degree rotation, it'll go through the center of rotation. Okay, here are several examples, um, and we're asking the question of does it have reflectional symmetry? And if it does, we want to draw those lines in and ask how many there are. Okay, in number one, we look at it, and there are there's only one line of symmetry right here. Okay, any other line wouldn't match up correctly if we if we reflected it across that line. Okay, so there's one in number one. Number two, the star. Um, it's really easy to see this one right here. Okay, but there are a few more. Okay, because the star is is um, is symmetric, it also has, for example, this line would work. I could reflect it across that line and get the exact same picture. Um, this one would also work, and through these points as well. So if we get how many there are, there's one, two, three, four, okay? There are five um, lines of symmetry for the star, okay? Number three um, is a rhombus, and there are, let's see, there's this one down the middle, and this one, and so there would be two. Okay, number four, this interesting design, um, although it's tempting to say this one, that doesn't quite work um, if we reflected it over. So there are no lines of symmetry, sorry, reflectional symmetry in this one. Number five, because of the, the curvy lines, again, there's no reflectional symmetry. Number six is also no. Number seven, um, we want to say this one right here. Okay, but if you think about it, this line is short and this line is long, and so the actual the answer is um, no. Okay, number eight, um, it does diagonally. Okay, you could reflect that over and you get the exact same image. Number six, a regular hexagon. Um, so here has one down the middle, and I guess every other through each of the sides but also through each of the points. Okay, um, so let's see here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six lines of reflection. Okay, now let's talk about rotational symmetry. Uh, now number one, let's see if we, rot if we rotate it, it will never look like itself until we get back to 360. Okay, so the answer would be no on number one. Whoops. Okay, number two, the star, let's try it. If I rotate it around, well, that's the same. Twice, three, four, five times. Okay, so if I, if I, I it um, looks like itself five times as I, as I rotate it around. So all the way around is 360 degrees divided by 5 is 72. So the angle of rotation 
for the star is 72 degrees. Okay, number three, if I rotate that around, that's different. Oh, but that's the same. Okay, so it would be twice, so 360 over 2 is 180, which probably could see on its own, just rotate 180 would be the exact same thing. Number four um, is also 180. It would look like itself. Okay, let me back up really quickly on three. Because it's 180, it also would have point symmetry. Okay, number four is also point symmetry. Okay, number five, let's see, if I rotate it, one, two, three, four times, so 360 over four is 90, okay, so that's 90 degree reflectional symmetry. Number six, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six times, so 360 divided by six would be 60 degrees. Number seven is kind of an interesting shape. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's the same. So it's twice, 360 over two is 180, okay, which also has point symmetry. Okay, number eight, let's see here, doesn't have any rotational symmetry at all. Number, number nine, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, 360 over six is 60 degrees. Okay. Now a few other examples. Um, determine how many lines of symmetry. We covered these before, uh, so I won't do them again. Um, does the picture have reflectional symmetry, ro rotational symmetry, or both? Um, there are lots of things, either logos or things in nature, that you'll find that have either reflectional, rotational, or both. So in this one, um, let's see here, this image has reflectional, just like the star did, Okay, it also, just like the star that we looked at before, has, um, if we rotate it five times, so it'd be 72 degrees of a rotational symmetry. The, um, the leaf, if you want to be a little, a little forgiving on some of the, the specific aspects, um, roughly down the middle, it's reflectional. Okay, the four-leaf clover, um, again, we have reflectional two ways, and it can rotate 90 degrees and it has rotational symmetry. Okay, um, pretty simple topics. Um, we discussed line symmetry, um, which is also called reflectional symmetry. We talked about rotational symmetry and point symmetry. Um, and hopefully by now you can identify what kind of symmetry a figure has. Um, and if a figure has reflectional symmetry, you can draw in the lines of symmetry. And if a figure has rotational symmetry, you can look at how many times it has that same image um, as you rotate it around and divide 360 by that number and you'll get the um, angle of rotation for the rotational symmetry.